Hey, everybody. This is Damon <laughs> Sugamelli, and I am back with my co hosts, Mike Bloxham and MJ Cogburn. Hey. And <laughs> Brian Green actually did not really want to join us for this one because <laughs> he did not want to talk negatively about this because we are talking about Quantum Leap Season 2, Episode 7. A kind of magic. And I'm just gonna <laughs> just already. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. I think everybody already knows where we're all going with this. Magic it eight origi- ball. Are we going gonna... to have a good review of this episode? Let's see. What does the magic eight ball say? Oh now it says yes. <laughs> But before it said ask again, it did say ask again. So it said answer was easy, <sighs> ask again. Uh, this originally this originally aired December 6, 2023. Ben leaped back to 1692, the farthest he's ever been, where he finds himself on trial for practicing witchcraft. With limited records online, the team must race to save him before he's put to death. We have our usual cast of Raymond Lee as Dr. Ben Song, Caitlin Bassett as Addison Augustine, Mason Ale- <laughs> Quit laughing when you quit laughing. Mason Alexander Park as Ian Wright, Nanrissa Lee as Jen Chu, and Ernie Hudson as Herbert, Magic Williams, Eliza Taylor, and Peter Gadillo. Am I saying that correctly? They do not appear and are not credited in this episode. I did not think Eliza Taylor was going to be in this. We have a huge, huge guest cast, and it, it, quite ironically, I think most of them seem like they're just taking up space in a huge train wreck. (laughs) Pretty much, yes. uh, We we have Alice Kremelberg as Rachel. She is back. Probably the one, I mean, her her role, I mean, she's pretty good. She's like basically our recurring character now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian Van Holt as the magistrate, Bloodborne apparently was his name. I, that's what magistrate I magistrate Bloodborne. Magistrate Bloodborne. Amanda Jaros as Morgan McKenna. We're not sure how that's spelled, but uh, Jet Wilder as uh, I don't know what their names are. She's a maiden. She's one of the like the three maidens. I think there were right? three of them. There yeah. were three of them. Important enough to have names, apparently. Yeah, John Hans Tester as Reverend Crane, Madeline Horcher as Goody, Bridget Smith. So she's Thank known you. as Goody. But she's known as yeah, she's known as Goody. But you said Her, it correct. Yes, I said it correctly. <laughs> Michael Provost. I don't know as William Bloodborne. That's the son of the magistrate. Mm-hmm. Ruby J and Shelby Lee are the other two maidens. Okay, this was written by Margarita Matthews. She was a story editor, at least in season one. Uh, her, because she previously wrote uh, Oh Ye of a Little Faith, uh, Leap, Die, Repeat, and the season finale, Judgment Day. Even though there was like weird time travel logic with that season finale, I thought she, her, her episodes were pretty good. I like, those are like two of my favorites last Agreed. season. Well, yeah, they, and, and directed by Avi, I don't know how you, Avi Uabian, who previously directed Stand by Ben. And as we did said, we miss, day, did hmm? we miss one of the characters? Sam Wilshire? I don't know. I, I, I have like the main, I, I, yeah, I think there's like a oh. couple of others, but yeah. um, those are the ones that are listed at the beginning. Oh, I think there's okay. only like two at the end or something. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Does it really matter? I don't know. Does it matter? No. <laughs> no, Nothing, against really the doesn't. Actors. Nothing against the actors. No. I'm just saying that. Yeah. Yeah. They did it. Right. Right. Okay Nothing job. against the actors. Yes. The the leap date, as we said, is 1692, and Ben has leaped into Elizabeth Leaker. I apparently had missed the name, yes. but it happened during. And we did not get a mirror shot, did we? No. no. As far as I can tell, like, really nothing? <laughs> nothing at Could all. Could have had him looking in water, something. Yeah, right, right. So... For another shiny surface. I'm sure mirrors existed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right. they oh, boy. oh boy, first impressions. Um Mike, you're usually 
<laughs> you were saying Go ahead, some Mike. things. Go ahead, Mike. When we were doing our chat, you were saying some funny things, so uh, go ahead. I don't know if I'll repeat them all, but uh, <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was certainly an episode of television. Uh, I'm not sure what yes, show it was. Yes, it was that. Uh, it, it was something like Quantum Leap. Um, yeah, it was... I, I think what I compared it to, it, it, it almost felt like a joke episode of that, that they wanted to make of the show because it reminded me of the episode of Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, when they flash forward to the 90s and they have... Hercules, Kevin Sorbo. pretending to be Kevin Sorbo, who's playing Hercules on the show, <laughs> and oh, it's just yeah. There's I, part of it is leaping back so far. There's no connection to modern day, um, like like all the other episodes of Quantum Leap that we've had. Well, except for Salvation or Bust. Um, mm -hmm. I, have, I had a similar problem with that one, like like you've mentioned before, Damon, where mm -hmm. I knew from the outset, going back this far, it, it just wasn't going to jive. So, mm -hmm. um, or even in the original series, um, the leap between the states, there's yeah, like it, it was an interesting story, but it was just so far removed from anyone anyone's able to kind of conceive what it was like to live in that time period uh, right, and right. connect with it on a human level. Like Quantum Leap mm -hmm. is supposed to be about kind of everyday people in mm -hmm. situations where they need help and being a person being tr on trial for being a witch and potentially being burned at the stake is nothing remotely what any of us can connect with <laughs> right like it's right. It, it just felt like i don't want to say bad fan fiction they, they there were some good parts in the in the, in the episode hey we have um, some really great fan fiction mm -hmm. That's at right. the virtual <laughs> seasons, mm -hmm. but that's because we've done research to right. make sure yeah, that it's to. correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think mm -hmm. that, that, and I'll I'll let you t uh, take over for that part, MJ. But I'll I'll just wrap up by saying there was good acting, but yeah, it was the complete kind of detachment from reality and and inability to actually put yourself in the shoes of any of the characters in the show that really didn't make it. Up. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, MJ. <laughs> I know what I'm going to say, okay. but you know. What's yeah. he all say now? Yeah, what does what they all say now? What is MJ's reaction going to be? It, oh. It's just that it is decidedly so. <laughs> yeah. we, need, we, need, we need a more specific question. Did. <laughs> Uh, what, what's, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll come back to it. I don't know. <laughs> um, this episode just really hit all the negative buttons for me. And I, I, I can't help. I used to be a special ed English teacher. And I taught the crucible to ninth grade students. I had to make them understand all the information that was in this story mm -hmm. so that they could repeat it back to me and understand it. My ninth graders could write a better quantum leap story than this. <laughs> um, oh. And... Mm -hmm. There's way too many inaccuracies throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. From leap in <laughs> to freaking leap out. Um, there are some good scenes in it. I'm not mm -hmm. going to be totally negative about it. Um, they missed on an opportunity in this episode mm -hmm. to showcase Ian in a different way and yeah. it would have been yeah. so much better mm -hmm. had a little kid come on the scene mom who's that over there by that by the witches you know yeah yeah in the mm -hmm. long black and maroon dress who's that mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, we haven't they could have seen done that. anything like with the old rules. We don't know if any of that nope. applies in this mm. in this new series, right? But if they did, it would have. Yeah, then they could have said, believable. "Oh wait, mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. seeing something there that's not there that I'm not yeah, seeing." That... Mm-hmm. Oh, they have to be witches. They're talking to the devil, you know. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Then you could kind of go on with that route. Does anybody else see it? Mm-hmm. Type of thing, but no. Yeah. Right. They right. have to go a totally different way. Yeah. Well, I'll um, just say. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'll just, well, I'll, let me just get it out of the way with my first impressions, because I was like, what am I going to say? And I know what I want to say. So, y- y- you know those, like, retreats that people go to for the reenactments with the, uh, like, Civil War, Revolutionary War, and they get, get, they get dressed up in these, like, questionably, uh, you know, period-specific attire, go really over the top with their acting, and they, they get into it for the whole entire weekend. Like they don't break yeah. character mm-hmm. at all, have the over the top accents, or even like you go to Comic Con or something and you see people dressing up that like that's what this felt like. <laughs> that's what this felt like to me. They, and it's run by people who just say like they maybe didn't you know, they, they, they know enough about it to just tell people just go nuts. Just go nuts with everything. That's what it felt like. It felt like they threw a lot of stuff together, overused tropes. You know, witches! Oh, all these things, and it's just like <laughs> they leaned heavily on the crucible. Heavily yeah, yeah. leaned on the crucible. Mm-hmm. And and to be fair, like like you said, MJ, that there were things that there were a few things that I actually did like. I just feel like a lot of it got lost in the stuff I really didn't like, and I wanted to have uh, my wife. Amada was wanted to really join us for this because she actually did kind of enjoy this because she's into this stuff so much and you know just our schedules are so busy that she really you know couldn't but um yeah um I, I so what do we what do we really want to we just the main thing is that he he leaps in I guess it's a pretty simple plot kind of yeah. that it's just yeah. Um, well, 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 let's start off with because you say in the notes too, but the I, I found it odd with the rhymes in the beginning. I was yes. So what was it? He loves me. He loves me not. He loves yeah. me not. And yeah, that, that rhyme wasn't available in 1692. It wasn't written until 1872 mm-hmm. by a Frenchman. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then and the S S I N G. Yeah, and I'm like, did they send the rest? The rest, the, the, rhyme, the rest of the rhyme, the rest of the rhyme says, uh, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes and Elizabeth so and so with a baby, baby carriage. carriage which, yeah. mm-hmm. Well, uh, baby carriage wasn't invented until um, 1733, <laughs> so they wouldn't mm-hmm. know what a baby carriage was back then. Right, right, right. <laughs> Maybe the whole town is witches who know the future. Right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And, and that's why and that's why I that, like I had to bring out the eight ball because it's like this is like it just felt like they were just asking a bunch of questions to a magic eight ball and getting the response. <laughs> Look, it's Will this magic. Work? If they had a magic eight ball, then this would be magic. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were right um, about the black cats and and bad omens, though. That came around in the yeah. 13th century. Right, right. So, it, yeah, and it basically was that the so his name is William, right? Who, well, he got sick. So that's kind of the key point is that he got sick or something, and people yes. were starting to smell sulfur or whatever. Yeah. And then he, and then what? Like his, he stopped breathing. Had a fever. Yeah. Right. Well, they and they so, go to, um, good wife Bridget Smith's husband's funeral right because he had just like he had died right he had mm-hmm. just from... recently died from mm-hmm. whatever affliction they were having and right. they're at his funeral and people are gossiping about her they think 
that she did something to him or that she was dancing naked in the woods with the devil. Right. <laughs> Which Magistrate Bloodborne so nicely puts to Ben. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Ian says at one point that, uh, well, since it's the 17th century, there aren't substantial records back then. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not true. They had a whole bunch of records back then. You could yeah. go to, it's called the Planigent Ancestry, and they kept mm -hmm. all kinds of records unless that hall burnt down or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> they would have the records. But they already so. knew William died. Mm -hmm. like yeah. That year. So, so they had some records. They obviously had some records. Or maybe they didn't know exactly that like wasn't, how he died. That wasn't yeah. the hot yeah. gossip that, that uh, mm -hmm. Ian was talking about. He was talking no. about the gossip. See, how long had he had been there to mm -hmm. overhear all the gossip that was going on in the church? He would have had That's to been a... there for a few minutes <sighs> before he even mentioned the bin to come back to him. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, that that's a that's a good point. You, yeah, like, well, it's kind of, you know, like, like even in the original show, you, you, you're referring to like that Ian must have known something. Yeah. That he because because they weren't there. Yeah. So I mean, but even Al, so sometimes even when Al would show up, it would be like he would show up after they said something, like and then they and it's like it's as if Al heard it. I mean, mm -hmm. they they did they did they did do that on the original show. Sometimes they slipped up a little bit or they just acted like. Al would have been there the whole time. Well, so, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I mean that that's a like a minor little thing. This um, whole looking in and seeing the leak oh, that... while it's happening. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of In the sucks. control room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because because we we're doing like a roulette now with everybody as a as a hologram. I I, I think that's what I wanted to say. I, I forget. I didn't write it down in the notes, but we had Ian as a hologram. Ian... Then and then Jen, Jen. and then yeah. Jen, and then and then, and then, uh, and then Addison finally Addison. comes back. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we're, we're yeah, uh, but we'll so we'll get back to Addison at the end, but because mm. finally she's back. But well, again, we'll get into that. Um, so but I, 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 what I did, what I did think was believable was that he basically had to perform CPR to basically bring him back to life and they would consider that some devil witchcraft act. yes th mm -hmm. that was believable for me i'm like okay because as soon as amada and i watched it i was like that, no do that not, scene no. was that that was a really good scene with ben going mm -hmm. i did it i did it yeah yeah <laughs> why are you looking at me like that yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that was that, that was, was a totally, great scene but yeah that was totally believable that they would confuse it yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so just just everything flies off the handle after that. I mean, it's yeah. Right. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Let, 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 let's see. What? <laughs> well, what else can people, we say here? That <laughs> people well, we died in a lot of strange ways sick. in yeah, the seventeenth we century. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, we were saying Sorry. they were sick with this mysterious ailment, and it turns out it was. What was it? sulfur hydroxide? It was sulfur in, in well. the well. Hydroxide in the yeah. well. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is that what Cause... made them all giggling in the in the jail cell? Because they said they were smelling sulfur, and then they said, "Okay, so in the jail cell, they mm -hmm. were um, trying to figure out why they were smelling the sulfur." Yeah. Right. Because Ben mm -hmm. was like, "I smell the sulfur," and then, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan starts laughing because she's like. <laughs> It she thinks it's funny. Mm -hmm. Bridget says, "But I smell it too," and then she yeah. says that she smells it as well, mm -hmm. and they're laughing because <laughs> they could possibly be witches and not even know it. So, right. Okay. <laughs> right. I just I don't know much about sulfur hydroxide, but I didn't know if it also 
made you giggle before you uh, <laughs> started getting fevers I'm, and dying well, from it. <laughs> I, maybe it was just because I, yeah. maybe it's just because it was like making them sick or something. I mean, I I I I mean, I, I know what that sulfur smells yeah. like. I mean, I mean, it's a very I don't know how to explain like it's that. a horrible just smell. Regular sulfur yeah, in the water yeah. can be you know healthy enough to drink. Yeah, so but I mean, if they were like about... drinking that like on a regular basis, like maybe it was starting to affect. Yeah, you know, again, I I don't Perhaps. know because there are yeah. sulfur springs where you you can consume the water, and it, yeah, it's got a sulfur right. smell to it, and, yeah, uh, and taste, right? But it's not harmful. But, in, but that, but that's before, I know it's actually, now. it's it's yeah. not terrible. It just smells mm-hmm. really bad. Yeah. yeah, but that's the key to this was that that, that that's kind that was kind of what the mystery was i guess that yeah. that was they were sort of like we were trying to wonder what the heck was going on here and like even my even amada said it like like why why was he getting sick like he, he's mm-hmm. sick for some reason and we didn't find that out until the end well william uh, seemed to get miraculously better after having that cpr because he was looking very sickly at that funeral but for the right. rest of the episode yeah. he looks That's true. perfectly fine and gets around and, and then he's okay and yeah, yeah, and helps that's rescue true. them. And so... He eats an apple. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> that's right, he did eat an apple. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll, so I guess we'll go into, was this after um, Jen became the hologram and then basically saying, to, so... basically telling Ben to plead guilt, like basically like yeah. say you're a yes. witch or whatever? And then there's a chance. So, yeah. He so what does it say? That, let me get to it. Yeah, I, I see it I here. did some research on the Salem witch mm-hmm. trials at the library. Over two dozen people died all claiming to be innocent, but the ones who plead guilty and confessed to witchcraft were spared. No, oh, they were not. No. <laughs> Think of it as a plea deal. <laughs> you will tell them that you're all witches, tell them you're sorry, and everyone lives and you leave. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. Ziggy says it's an 80% chance that it'll work, but that's not enough. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, because um, at, at, you, you mentioned it too. Yeah. So, I, I remember that it, what, I've, what I've heard too was that I, I thought that it was like the water test, like you're saying in the notes, where... There, there were a whole lot of different tests. Yeah. Once they convicted you as, of a witch, if mm-hmm. you... If you actually said, yes, I'm a witch, they -hmm. would spare you for a moment. Mm -hmm. Then they would go ahead and put you through a couple different tests. The water Mm -hmm. test is if you sank to the bottom of the pond Mm -hmm. and you didn't float, then you were Christian Mm -hmm. and you were fine. But because Mm -hmm. you didn't float, you died. Right. Right. Um, Right. And if you lived through that one, mm-hmm. uh, then there was the devil's mark. They mm-hmm. would get a hot needle and poke you with the needle to find the mm-hmm. spot on your body where it didn't hurt. And that was where the devil laid. <laughs> yeah, no. Your uh, face then there's Mike just is like pure, just then there was just pure evil torture, you know, and then there's the the waking of the witch. They Ugh. would keep you awake for days mm-hmm. until you finally lose your brain. Right, right. Um and then which would lead to a confession that you're a witch. Right. And then they would hang you and then burn the body so that the devil right. could not use the body anymore. Right. Basically, wow. if you were accused of being a witch, you're screwed. Yeah, no yes. matter what you do. Basically. Yeah. No matter what you did, <laughs> you were screwed. Simple. As, Once you as Addison witch, you're, said, you were, as Adam said, <laughs> you were damned yeah. if you did and damned if you didn't. Yes. Right, right. right. Unless you can miraculously make it rain. Right. Oh, <laughs> I have a whole bad okay. uh, uh, that whole scene. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Collect yourself, MJ. <laughs> make it rain. Well, <sighs> before we go to make it rain, 
Can I explain what a good wife is? Yes, please. Please, please educate <laughs> us and others. Good wife is the precursor for miss or missus. When, when a maiden wed a man <laughs> in that right. era, mm -hmm. they would call them good wife. Mm -hmm. Because that was the title of their name, like Miss. Mm -hmm. So I would yeah. be mm -hmm. called Good Wife Marjorie Cogburn. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how it would go. Mm -hmm. And then they shortened Good Wife to Goody. Mm -hmm. So right, any, right. Okay. Per any woman that was married back then mm -hmm. would be called Goody Smith, Goody mm -hmm. Cogburn, Goody whatever yeah a little, little bit like the handmaid's tale sort of yes kind of <laughs> and so by them calling her goody all the way through the th whole thing mm -hmm. <laughs> they're calling her miss hey miss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah which her friends wouldn't do no her friends mm -hmm. would call her bridget yeah mm -hmm. yeah and even um uh, the magistrate, magistrate Bloodborne, in the the trial, he calls her uh, Bridget Goody Smith. No, no, no. It would would be Goody Bridget Smith. Mm -hmm. So, <sighs> lots of mm -hmm. inaccuracies in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do we think that this was uh, uh, the just bad writing, or maybe they were rushing this? Because of the impending strike at the time, maybe. Yeah, probably. What's he able to say? You, better not tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> better not tell you. Now. <laughs> oh, because uh, if I could, I don't know. Better not tell you now. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It, it feels or, or like a first draft that got. Yeah. That just they said, well, well good enough. Let's 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 record it. <laughs> Or maybe just a combination let's, of both. Let's just rush it in there so we can get it something done and it on the air. Felt like that's how it a, felt. It kind of felt like a filler episode. Yeah. Because they have to get to number eight. Right. Before the strikes happened. Yeah. So I yeah, I, I don't know because as I said that the writer we wrote I those were like my favorite episodes from season one. The time loop episode was like one of my favorites, yeah. and it's just yeah. like this just did not hit the mark for whatever reason. I, I, it, I mean, it for a, fell really flat. Yeah, yeah. and again, this just it, it's just like why do we need to leap back this far? Because we can. Just why yeah. not? Like this, why? Why not? Let's just ask a magic eight ball to do stuff. Uh, <laughs> I have to ask what happened to string theory. Right. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be the beginning and end of the mm -hmm. life. So I don't mind there being more to it, but just again, yeah. they're 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 just playing loose with it. Yeah. And I I, I I was I am I, I wasn't completely off board with it all. I don't mind that things have changed a bit, but it's just they're not really it just seems like they're doing this because they can. Yeah. Yeah. And there's not really good reason for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I know. I, I hate to sound so negative, but yeah, it, it just I, I, I wanted knew to it, like it. But like, yeah, yeah. I, I know. always go in with an open mind, but I really, like I, I really tried. Really, yeah, I, I, I really open. went in with an open mind. I really mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. And and by the middle of the episode, I was doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are they doing? Um, yeah. so I, I, I wanted to like it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I couldn't. Yeah. It, yeah. I think it's because I'm an educated woman. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the case. Uh, what were you going to say? I don't know. Were... Um, no, I, I was going to say, um, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's all good. Um, I, I was going to mention one of the I'll call it the Easter egg. Maybe I'm not sure. Is is when Ben suggested to the jailer that he named his baby Sabrina. Oh, yeah. That 
And I was like, is that supposed to be a reference to Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Probably. I That's not going to carry it forward 300 years. Like, I completely yeah. missed that, too. You pointed that out, and I'm like, I heard the name, but it didn't click. And yeah. when you mentioned that, I'm like, Oh, no, poor. I grow. Yeah, that's not I right. Sabrina is not a really Puritan name. No, <laughs> yeah. it's not. not at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So if we go back to how this went down, so they get called mm-hmm. on trial. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bridget goes up first. Didn't help anything. Then yeah. Morgan go, goes up, and that doesn't help anything. And then Ben finally goes up. Mm-hmm. And he calls William as a witness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think a servant girl would have known all the information there to help out. You know, as far as trial process... I don't know. No, I mean, I don't know how many trials they would have back then. It would have been completely out of character for, Eli- yeah. yeah, for Elizabeth, right? Mm-hmm. But Sam right. did that a number of times too. That's I true. Things that were out of character but required to. That, I mean, yeah, that's true. To achieve his mission, yeah. right? And that magic is just science that we don't understand yet. Yeah, which is, which is true. <laughs> I mean. To a certain extent, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, what was it that Hannah said? A yo-yo? Try to explain the yo-yo to someone. Oh, yeah, when she, when she was talking about the, yeah. They'd say it was witchcraft. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> they, were, they were throwing that witchcraft stuff in for they like a were, few episodes. They were foreshadowing this episode. I don't know yeah. why, but they were foreshadowing this episode. I'm yes, like, I'm were. wondering who, who signed off on this episode. Did they really, like, seriously say, oh, this is a good idea? I I don't know. I'm I'm so well. I, thanks to MJ's education mm-hmm. of us, um, <laughs> it could have been a good episode. Sorry. Mm-hmm. If if they there weren't so many glaring historical inaccuracies. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. The whole jail cell scene where they're talking about this, um, the sulfur and. Thinking mm-hmm. they're witches when they're may not be witches, but they might be witches. Yeah, that whole yeah. scene was a really good scene. Right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It made sense. You know, they were arguing back and forth that you're not going to get out. We're not going to, this isn't just a bad situation. That was a good scene. Mm hmm. Um, until they brought yeah. Sam Wilshire in. <laughs> and then oh, trying mm-hmm. to... But that's how they got out. They had mm-hmm. to have someone yeah. bring them yeah. their last meal so they could get out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I could see Sam Wilshire thinking, this woman has just said that my my wife is pregnant and brought up the name that we would like to name right. our child. Right. Mm-hmm. My God, they must, he must be, she must be a witch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pronounced. Yeah. Pronounced yeah. In this episode. <laughs> so I could see Sam thinking that they were witches because mm-hmm. of the prediction. Right. Right. Yeah, see, I only, I, basically, I was, I was going to try to watch this again, and I just, like, yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. I, I probably will, but I just, I couldn't do it before <laughs> we, were, we were recording this, so I, I forgot about some details, like the, like the, the fact that she was pregnant, and, yeah. Yeah, um, I forgot about that. Sorry, that's where I should have mentioned the Sabrina thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Talk that's about all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all right. I noticed too, Mike, that you said because um, we were we were kind of doing our notes quick here that you were talking about the accents. Yeah. And that the, so yeah. speaking of historical, um, like a lot of people <laughs> in 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 the colonies, this is still British. These are still British. It's colonies, not America yet, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. they would either be recently immigrated, 
mm -hmm. or maybe second or at most third generation, and yet they right. all have modern American. Except for you know, Morgan. Uh, yeah. Except for Morgan, she yeah. was a Scot. Yeah, she's was she Scottish? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so, well, some of it sounded like like over the top. Like I, I, mean, yes. I feel like the mag <laughs> the magistrate seemed very over the top too, with like yeah. oh, like uh, just the way he talked. Yeah, but so, I mean, virtually everyone should have had an accent mm -hmm. from the British Isles at this yeah. point. That's where everyone was immigrating from. Yeah, that that's right. kind of what that's kind of goes back to what I what my first impressions were. How it feels like like a Renaissance fair or something. Yeah, where people are just like trying to pretend to be doing yeah, the accents, right. and they there's something that's not quite right about it. <laughs> so that's I have a question for you guys: Who did you think the hooded figure was going to be? Oh, I when knew you it was really. first saw it. I, I did too. Really. Oh, I I did too. But um, I think the second time I was it we didn't it, it wasn't until the second time he showed up that it he pulled off the hood, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Well, you see a, the a hooded figure watching as they right um, run away from the gel cell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And then you see him again. Yeah. Outside the window before he comes in through the door i think that's when i knew but the first time i i, I kind of just didn't think anything of it because i was like already at that point like what the hell is this <laughs> <laughs> but i think when he showed up that second time i'm like oh it's probably william and then and then it was yeah I'm because like, oh, of if course it he's... had been the magistrate he would have already yelled right there no, but I think I, I think I realized yeah. then that it was probably him because he's like, oh, well, he he probably felt pressured to say she's a witch because what else was he gonna say? Yeah. And then he's and secretly he's like, okay, well, uh, she saved my life, so I have to try to help them somehow. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. Which he does. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> They're putting an apple cart. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh boy! I mean, oh, is it really? What kills oh. me is in the middle of all this that's happening. Morgan is going outside to to get the mares ready, mm -hmm. and they're trying to gather stuff up so that they can leave to go to Boston. <laughs> and then she puts on right. a hat like a fashion show. Yeah, and I'm like. <laughs> You're running Why? Your lives and... <laughs> but you're stopping to have a fashion show. Mm -hmm. To look more <laughs> like a witch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. Now, was she looking in a mirror when she tried that hat on, or what? No, she just put it on and then turned to turned to Ben. Oh, yeah. we, didn't, we didn't see a mirror. It would have been a no. perfect time for that. Something. Would have been a perfect time to have a mirror. I mean, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, the original show, what, really only did that. They always had something with the mirror, even if we didn't actually see who he was, right? It was like maybe two episodes where we didn't actually see who, the, re yeah. the actual reflection of who he was. Right. right. Um, yeah. I, you know, we didn't even bring up the project storyline with Rachel. Oh, and that mm. that what that it, that that's a very little very yeah, and that yeah. was like that. I I think this was the first time I actually found that story more fascinating than the leap. I'm like, I what is too. going on with this? What is this? What is this weird contraption she's coming up with? It it did look kind of quantum leapy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it looked a little like a thing here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten a yeah. chance to color it in yet, but uh, I got somebody made this for cool. me. Yeah. That's yeah. Very cool. yeah. Yeah. It was um, a. She was. The hard part was creating the software patch to override your quantum chip without my boss noticing that it was changed. Right. Because she's so risking her I career. Wanted to know, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? What exactly did she do? I'd like to know, know more about that. Yeah. yeah, if if they're just gonna hand wave it and say that's the end of it, I, I'm not gonna be too impressed. Oh, I, I don't think so. I think they're stretching this out as the story arc for the, the season. Right. This and the Hannah thing. I just don't know how it's all. Yeah. Connected. Um. 
but basically yeah. now they can still use the chip, but are they just shielding the information that was being sent out, or... I don't really know. Because it, Rachel had, like, two lines, and that was it, right? Yeah. I'm sure she'll Four be back five. again. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I hope five. she comes back. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's 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 somewhat interesting. I just mm -hmm. again, you're spoon feeding. Yeah. I mean, it's we're not yeah. dealing with that big, huge mystery box of season one, but but mm -hmm. still, and like we said, uh, do we really care where the story's going? I I I, I don't know where it's leading. We don't know where. I think they going. already. I, I don't apparently, they, they already are. have. They apparently already have the storyline for season three in mind. Hopefully okay. they will have a season three. I mean, they probably will, but um, I hope so. yeah. Um, I I guess we'll just get back into Addison finally. Well, well that was so. We'll hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah. We can't go mm -hmm. there yet. Okay, okay. Um, so as the story's progressing, of mm -hmm. course they took one of the horses, Morgan's. Gets okay. on her horse and mm -hmm. runs. Mm -hmm. And the two girls are left behind, and then William helps them. Mm -hmm. And then they are off. Mm -hmm. And if, if Ben can get her to the crossroads, she's safe mm -hmm. and good. And then they catch Morgan. Mm -hmm. Right. And then. He, and then he, the worst had... part of this thing. Um, and then he has a talk with Morgan about, hey, you gotta not be that angry, bitter person and come with me and help save Morgan. Mm hmm Meanwhile, back at headquarters, Addison goes to Magic and mm -hmm. says that she is the worst intern ever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... This is the other good scene that they have. Right. Uh, yes. Between Addison going. and Magic. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love that Magic has some of the best lines in this show. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. I wonder if he asked for that line. You know. <laughs> or if he has a part in a say so in what he says. I mean, they need to give Ernie mm -hmm. Hudson something to do. Yeah. <laughs> he's had, yeah. hasn't really had a lot to do in the show. But that was a good line about the alchemy. Right? Yes, or it was. We're talking yeah. about yeah. alchemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turning a bad situation into a good one. And she mm -hmm. asks how to do that. And I mm -hmm. love this line that he says. You focus on the things that you can change. Mm -hmm. Look, you don't have to, you don't have any control on what Ben decides to do, but mm -hmm. you always have a say over who you're going to be, right. how much grace you choose to have for him, how much patience, how much love. When you realize the power you have over yourself, that's mm -hmm. when you transmute a bad situation into gold. Which, mm -hmm. in its own way, is a special kind of magic. Mm -hmm. Yep, a kind of magic. Great line. Yeah. Yep, everybody drink. Totally I great love the line. episode. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I said to Amada. Up, oh, shot, drink. <laughs> Title of the episode. Yeah, that, that was a good scene. That yeah. that was a good scene. Mm -hmm. Because that is very true. Mm -hmm. If you if you can control yourself. In any situation, mm -hmm. you're you're one up on everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. How you control yeah. yourself. Right. Yeah. So they basically just had to find a way to get Addison to kind of, I guess that's kind of like her sucking it up and just saying, I got to do what I got to do. I got to go in there and be his observer because that's what my job is. Right. He right. needs me. Even if he doesn't want me there, he needs me. So right. I knew they had to kind of come around eventually to, because I mean, that's her role. What else is she going to do if she's not the hologram? So she yeah. kind of has to be the hologram again. I mean, I know some people don't like her as the hologram, but 
that's what that's her role. That's her role. Yeah. And this I don't was mind their that they change it up. In it. Yeah. Right. I don't mind that they change it up every so often. Um so I mean it I, just I, brings I, that relationship back into play again. Mm-hmm. And now instead of a relationship, it's gonna be a friendship. Yeah. Well that that to me that's where I'm hoping it stays. Yes. I would agreed. I would like if it stayed that way. Do I think it's going to stay that way? <laughs> Do I think it's going to stay that way? What are the odds that that she will become jealous at some point when she finds out about Hannah? Well, yes, she already definitely. Knows about Hannah. She already knows about <laughs> yes, Hannah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> she, she already knows about Hannah. But when she actually sees her, like on a leap, like I'm assuming that maybe the next one, I because I, I I mean not that I not that we know yet, but. When she actually sees True. them together, I think it's going to rattle something in her. Like, like I, I don't know what she's going to think, but we can't go a single episode without this drama. So, <laughs> like, go a single episode. Without this I drama. yeah, I know, but this is, feels like this feels like a a romantic drama with time travel thrown into it instead of a time travel show with romance thrown into it. That's yes. just what this feels like. Yeah. They kind of built it up like that right from the beginning. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we'll just, so we get to the end, I guess, right? This We're pretty much now well, toward the end. After Ben changes Bridget's mind, mm-hmm. they run into town mm-hmm. to save Morgan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's a fire built in the middle of the town. <laughs> a pyre that they yeah, are you, talking you about. Yeah, down. Mm-hmm. And um, well, I didn't even talk about the charcoal, but we'll come back to that. Oh yeah, the charcoal thing. Yeah. <laughs> um. The fire is already going. It's already burning very wildly in this area, correct? Mm-hmm. When we see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, my question is, how are they going to put the witch on there without <laughs> burning themselves? Yeah. I know. I Usually, I, I... you have a stake in the ground. Mm-hmm. The witch is tied to the stake. They put the wood around it, then they mm-hmm. light the wood, and then she goes, mm-hmm. and she screams, and she, you know, that's how they were supposed to have done it. Well, were but, they gonna? Were they going to put a stick into the fire and then put it? They were in the guillotine type thing. Is that maybe they were going to take it from there and burn that? The stocks. No, they weren't yeah. going to burn no, the wouldn't. stocks. No. No. Yeah. Then no. they'd have to build new stocks. Why build new yeah. stocks? Okay. No, yeah. they just did everything fast backwards. They they didn't. <laughs> I know. I've seen American Horror Story Coven. I I, I I've <laughs> seen what they do. I mean, <laughs> which was like my favorite season of American <laughs> Horror Story, by the way. I liked that season of American Horror Story. <laughs> that was a the was only a good way one. that you can, according to. The 16th century Salem witch trials, mm-hmm. you would hang the witch and then burn the body. Right. Mm-hmm. They even mentioned that at the trial, where one of mm-hmm. the maidens actually say, yeah, I thought they only hang witches in Salem. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. they did. Yeah. And then they perform these other tests and then burn the body. Right, um, right. So... As soon as I heard that they were building a pyre in the middle of town, I thought, oh, God, they're going to put it out with rain. <laughs> before we, before I didn't we get even to that, see that. <laughs> before we get to that. But I already knew what they were going to do. I know. We forgot to mention about <sighs> the Ian, Ian doing the seance. <laughs> With their, what was it? Their great, great, great grandmother 
Dorothy. His great grandmother, Dorothy, who was also convicted of being a witch. The, right, right. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. Dorothy. <laughs> I mean, it sort of makes sense with, like, okay, sure, I, I, I see it, but, like, at the same time, I roll my eyes, I'm like, really, we're going here? It didn't seem in character it's, for Ian, for me. It, it, but it's sort of like, it, no. it, you know what, it kind of reminds me Not of, me. in the original series, that whatever situation pops up, Al just for whatever reason, had that experience. Like, oh, yeah, sure, I could tell you how to do this. Like, oh, I can. I had a Russian this or whatever. And it's like, this is like sort of the same thing. I see that. Like, but at the same time, it's like, really? <laughs> We're going there? <laughs> and Dorothy, like, was... I don't know. I, I, I didn't even think about it during when I watched it. And I'm thinking about it afterwards. I'm like, are they, is it Dorothy, Wicked Witch of the West? Is that what we <laughs> I didn't think about that. Is yeah. is like you said the Sabrina thing? Like I thought yeah. about it like earlier today. I'm like, oh, that god is probably my grandmother was named Dorothy, so it, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. that's why it didn't click me. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that he said? I'm trying to find it. Um, I mean, they're sort of humorous, but you know, yeah. it, it just like really. <laughs> even even they, even, what was it? Even Jen and Addison was it? They were in there, and they're like. What are you doing? Like they were, and 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 yeah. and 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 you, you say it here too. Ian says this dismissive attitude is exactly what started the witch trials in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Everybody needs to stop judging people just for just doing things people. that they don't understand. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, so what? What's Grandma Dorothy saying? Okay, I'm getting a name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't what know. I lost saying? it. What is she saying? Concentrate and ask again. <laughs> <laughs> you scared her away with your cynicism. Oh, yeah, you scared okay. her away. Yeah. <laughs> and I think um, when Amada watched that, too, she's like, mm-hmm. I'm like yeah, you, 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 that's what that's what your cynicism gets you. I'm like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> like I yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> and then they come back, and Ian is looking at an astrology chart. Mm-hmm. And a right, right, farmer's the almanac. Mm-hmm. Oh right, that. <laughs> That's why I wanted Amada to talk about this because she was into it with the astrology thing too, and I'm like, like okay. And he yeah. says, but yeah, I cross reference these cross chart, star charts with this old farmer's almanac, and it may have rained at some point after it may dawn. Have rained. Which is just a few minutes. It may have rained. No, right, it may have rained. I thought they said it was like a, some fifty percent chance or something, or I don't know what it was. Yeah. It was like a 50-50 thing. There's a 50-50 like, chance it's about to rain. Did we even know what day or month it was? We never heard anything about 1692. No. I, I didn't expect no. to. I didn't expect there to be anything no, specific. No, but of course but he was drought. like, it looks like Mars right. was, was retrograde with Gemini, which means <laughs> men should lean into communication, or does that mean avoid communication? I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It sounded like something Amada would say. I, I, I love I love Amada. I love no I, I, I you know it's, it's no but it but the way it was all delivered and it was just like like it it, it was just a little bit and why it was okay in, in, in this episode yes. in this episode it was very yes. okay in the way they did it. That's exactly what I yeah. and Jen was right. like I, right. I, I can't I don't understand this. <laughs> well neither do we so No <laughs> Because it sounds but, like, oh, okay, I get the astrology part, but how does that line up with what the almanac says? And, right, and the 50-50, like... I don't know. Yeah, it just it made no sense. It, it's, it's, it's always 5 o'clock, at least. Like, a clock is right somewhere. twice a day. Yeah, right. it's always 5 o'clock somewhere, and it, a clock is right twice... Uh, is, a broken, a broken clock, clock is, right. is, is going to be right two twice times a day. day. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It and would, that's when Addison comes in. Yeah. 
coming mm-hmm. from Ziggy. Mm. If Ziggy had said there's a 50% yes. chance of rain on this day, that would have made more sense because Ziggy mm-hmm. has the computing power to do that. Ian cross referencing some astrological chart with some old farmer's almanac, which I don't know if that existed in the 1690s. I don't know. Or would have survived to today. I, <laughs> it just, no, yeah. it didn't fly. Mm-hmm. An old farmer's yeah. almanac from yeah. 1692. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway. I just happened to have it, Project Quantum Leap. I, I yeah. Sure. So, yeah. Let's so just, just go with that. Because none of it's online. Um, yeah. So we're, I mean, we're pretty much at the end now where it's, it's, it's yeah. to convince everybody. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's my sarcasm getting too much. <laughs> then comes running in with Bridget, mm-hmm. also known as Goody in this episode. Yeah, Goody. And. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Oh, God. <laughs> and they come running in. And Magistrate Blor- Bloodborne is like, seize them! Mm-hmm. And that's when William steps up to the plate mm-hmm. and finally decides to use his voice against his father. Mm-hmm. As Ben had instructed him to when he <laughs> saved him at the cart. Mm-hmm. Um. And he, this fire's blazing behind them, and he says, uh, there's an affliction in this town, it's called fear. I get it, mm-hmm. you have no water, your friends are all sick, you're scared, but this is not who you are. Mm-hmm. <sighs> we have already decided your fate, witch. Yeah, yeah. And he says, then I say nay, which... Yeah finally is right on point with 1692. I say, say nay. nay. I say nay. <laughs> I say let heaven decide our fate. And if God and wants I... us to burn at the stake, so be it. But if not... Let it rain. <laughs> let it rain. <laughs> and nothing happens. Did, did anybody think about um, a single drop of rain yes. when you saw that? I did. Yeah. 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 You ruined a great one of the great quantum leap moments. <laughs> you took that moment and then you did this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You make it Nothing rain. Happens. You make it rain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fantastic finally, scene. Just, and and then Judge, uh, the magistrate finally says that he is going to throw him on the fire mm-hmm. or throw her on the fire mm-hmm. pronouns uh, mm-hmm. and then it thunders mm-hmm. and it rains everybody's mm-hmm. happy joy joy they forget about witch trials for a brief moment mm-hmm. and everybody's happy and then let me just okay, let me just meanwhile I'm I'm thinking she just she just said make it rain and it rained. I I feel like wouldn't that have even convinced, convinced them even yes. more that she was a witch? As opposed to thinking she had God's ear. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, really? <laughs> um, so at this point. Then the then the three maidens there turn their back on Magistrate Bloodborne and want to burn him. <laughs> and they relied way too heavily on the Crucible because that's what they would have done in the Crucible. Um, and then Ben finally talks to them about the well. Mm-hmm. So we find that, a way. Find and out. and yeah. it's interesting how he uses all these big words from this servant girl <laughs> explaining uh, your well has sulfur in it. Dehydration, fever, and drought cause mm-hmm. stagnation in your water supply and the well is contaminated. That's why everybody's been getting sick. It's mm-hmm. not witchcraft, it's hydrogen sulfide in your water supply. Mm-hmm. And then... Goody 
reaches into the fire that has been put out. Oh. Takes up a piece of wood that's about mm, yay long. <laughs> And says, charcoal, right? This will clean it, right? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, mm. but I would not pick up a burnt piece of wood in my bare hand. No. That had like just said, been like, put out. It had just been, yeah, it had just been burned, yeah. Yeah, I would wait for I like mean, a little bit. That, that, that fire was raging. <laughs> Mm -hmm. behind you and now right she would not have any fingerprints if she had yeah. taken more than a five minute rain to put it out too mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um charcoal you can make charcoal in the 16th century you could mm -hmm. but you have to make it next to a chimney where there you can cut off the oxygen supplied to it and it has to burn, the hardwood has to burn for like five days mm -hmm. for you to get the charcoal. And mm -hmm. then you have to put the water through sand, cloth, and the charcoal to clean it. You don't just stick a piece of wood in your, in it's your a, water. It's, it's a process. Yeah, it's a process. So Morgan was, make, Morgan was doing this in her shop, apparently. Obviously. Because she said she used charcoal in her water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, she that she was putting carbon in her water. Oh, she carbon. Did she said carbon? Oh, I thought she said charcoal. Okay, got it. Mm. Okay. No, but in the shop, when Goody finds the pitcher of water, she pulls out a stick from the water. <laughs> and she's, she, like, looks at Ben what is this? <laughs> and, and Ben says, charcoal. Mm. It's to clean the water. Mm -hmm. You don't just stick a piece of charred wood in your water and <laughs> yeah. expect it to be clean. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah, we, we, we really did a rundown of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> more than we've done in the past because yeah and well, thank you mj for all of that yes thank you MJ. <laughs> I, mean, I mean okay other than i knew all the stuff from the crucible because i had mm -hmm. to teach it okay mm -hmm. that's one thing i get the witches mm -hmm. the fire and the charcoal mm -hmm. i know you don't mess with burnt wood with your bare hand that's just mm -hmm. common sense. Yes. Uh, the yeah. charcoal thing, it took me two minutes to find out mm -hmm. the charcoal part on yeah. the internet right, back right. in the you... 1700s, how to yes. make charcoal. Mm -hmm. um, so who didn't do their research? Or were they rushing just because, as we they said? They were obviously rushing. I think so. Yeah, I, um, I'm. At least I... we got a leap out. Yes. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> few and far between these days. Yeah. Yes. And, and we saw the pyramids. Egypt. Yeah. Right. Which they yeah. actually did shoot in it's Cairo. Not, yeah. It's not green screen, right? Yeah. It, they actually went on location to shoot it. Oh. Yep. About time. Yeah. Um. Well, Sam and also he's in a Egypt. nice suit. So mm -hmm. he's obviously a guy in this episode. Yeah. So I, I guess um, I could say what the synopsis is. They, they, they but did have I, one. I will say, I will say, it was a nice touch to the Wizard of Oz. Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. Mm. He says that at the always end. Says yeah. that at the, it always yeah. says that at the end for yeah. the next one. Oh. Uh, and. Speaking of course, my head. there's a witch. And over my there's head. a witch in the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, so that completely went over my sense. head. <laughs> so you, it made yep. sense to have that line too. Well, I think, uh, I, I, I think it's going to be like a James Bond esque oh. type of adventure. The next okay. one, because We've... he's. It says when Ben leaps as far as Egypt into an undercover CIA agent caught in a dangerous game of international espionage. He must move quickly to save a woman's life. So I wonder I think if that's it's like, going to be Hannah. 
I'm wondering. It's and it's supposed to be 1961. So that's gonna that be would, okay. that would track. Track, gonna be would track with her it's showing up track. again. Yeah. Um, we forgot to mention the big thing in this episode, where we even though we forget. We forgot to talk about um, at the very end, right before he leaps, he asks Addison to be his hologram once more. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, what a tidy I thought way it was a up. very interesting way that he put it, kind of went back to what he was telling Diddy in the cart when they were about to leave. He mm -hmm. says, uh, I'm scared of what it might do to me if I didn't work with you anymore. But oh, now right, right. I'm not scared mm -hmm. of what, sh now I'm more scared of what shutting you out might do to me. I don't want to be that bitter, angry guy who can't talk to his ex. I right. don't know what navigating mm -hmm. a friendship with you is like, but... I guess what I'm trying to say is if you feel like you want to try, will you be my hologram? Yeah, right. Yep, so I guess for the foreseeable future, she is... I don't know. I guess she's going to be the hologram. I, mean, I guess definitely for the next one, but I don't know if they're going to do the roulette again with picking somebody. I mean, I, I don't know. The question uh, I have is, is if... She becomes jealous with uh, Hannah, Hannah and everything. Mm -hmm. Is um, Tom going to become angry at her and tell her, you know, the only reason why I came to Project Quantum Leap is to see if I couldn't save my wife? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it, it, it was just something I'm throwing out there just because you know manufactured drama like I, I just again I, I don't know and I hope that that's not where they're going but I just we haven't gone a single episode without, without some something mention about of the even, relationship. even Ian was like oh so that kiss like I don't want to talk about it right like we're not yeah. going to talk about that right now that was at the beginning there was like the that that Ian threw that out there. I'm like, I want to talk about that kiss. So, so really, well, just, he didn't want to talk about it because everybody could see what was going on at Project right. Quantum Leap. Everybody mm -hmm. could listen in. Yeah, but other than he that throwaway like line, that. it's like you wouldn't have known anything happened. It's like not even some internal dialogue with Ben thinking about like pining after Hannah or something because he had just kissed her, like literally right. kissed her while he leaped out, and then he's in this whole thing, and it's like. It just doesn't really come up at all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming that she's probably going to be in the next one. I would think if they if they had shot all these episodes, that they weren't just yeah. going to leave. Like, if that was the last one, because the next one is the last one that they had banked before the strikes. So I would think if she was only in two episodes, that I, 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 don't, I don't really see that. I don't know. She's going to be in this next episode. Probably. Sure. Yeah. Pro I have no idea, but it would make sense. You right. said that he was a CIA agent, correct? Yeah. That's that's what the that's what the synopsis says. Yeah. Yeah. What was called, what Yeah. But what part of what was she in? Um what, part, what, what government yeah, what, project was she oh, in? Oh yeah, what was she? It was oh, it was something with the science was it, or Oh, I don't remember. She, she but, it a, had, yeah. Yeah. but it had to do with top-level security stuff. Yeah. It might so be it my would notes. make Hold sense on. that she would be going back. Yeah. Um, I, I bet you if I look in the other notes that we had, let's see. Uh, what did it say here? Uh, let me find it for a minute. Uh, yeah, I thought it was it something like sense. Project Matterhorn that she was doing the research with. No, but she was with uh, some agency. The, wasn't it the Atomic Energy? Not the Atomic Energy. Commission. Yeah, the Atomic Energy Commission, yeah. I think. That was it. Yeah, that's yeah. It. That, was that was it. it. That was it. Mm -hmm. 
So if they are doing anything with Egypt in 1961, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know where it, it will would fit make in. sense that she would be in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's so it's called. It's supposed to be. It's either Nomad or Nomads. I I think it's just Nomad. Apparently, that was like the original name. That was plural. I, I don't I don't know what it means, but. I mean, a nomad is somebody who's like a wanderer, right? So, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't I don't think we have anything more to say about this. I don't want to talk well, about this no. anymore. No, <laughs> I was just going to say, as far as episodes about the Salem Witch Trials go, The Simpsons did it better with the Trios of Horror 8. <laughs> <laughs> The, 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 this, this is what else I'll say about this. You're this really was. Correct. <laughs> this is what else I'll say about this is. I think this it was, was more historically accurate. This was a season five episode. Of, not even season five episode. This is like after, like if if Quantum Leap had continued, mm. and the quality getting worse. That's what this would have been. That's what this episode was. Yeah. When I they're hope just... this is not them jumping the shark. Right. Yeah, jumping the shark. Yeah, it, it's way too soon for it. Although, yeah, it's it's as I said, I'm I I'm I we 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 very barely wanted to do this review. We were almost gonna <laughs> like not even do it for anybody watching. It was just, we we were really seriously contemplating not doing it. <laughs> Because none of us had anything positive to say. I mean, we had some positives to I, say. I did we say had some positives. We, did. Positive. we had some positives, yes. Mm -hmm. Have some positives. Yeah. And I think I, I'm going to do what I did this last time. From now on. It's just... I, I took the time before we recorded to go through every line and mm -hmm. write it down so that I could kind of... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm go through it yeah 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 that's the only way i could that's kind of the only myself, way we could talk about this one yeah that's really the only way we could have talked about this is just kind of go like break it down we can't just we could just jump around because we didn't have much to say otherwise so <laughs> this ended up being a lot longer than i thought it would yeah, <laughs> yeah. i thought we'd be done in 15 minutes <laughs> i know this is like probably one of the longest ones we've done even after editing this is probably gonna be the longest one Anyway, so yeah, the next one is the mid-season finale, Nomad, uh, and they did start filming 209 about a week ago, November 27th. Uh, yeah, they, oh, good. they definitely said that they started filming like right after Thanksgiving. We're definitely getting the last five episodes. Caitlin Bassett, I think, pretty much said on the Quantum Leap podcast that that was it, I think. I guess they told them that that was it, so I don't know if we're getting more than the thirteen. But, uh, so yeah. So we shall see. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think that that is about it. And if all goes according to plan, um, we may have a special guest co-hosting with us for the mid-season finale. So stay tuned for that. Yep. Cool. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know afterwards. Okay, I guess we're done. Be sure to like and subscribe, and. Uh, Brian will probably join us for the next one. He just honestly did not want to join us for this. Ask the eight ball. Will Will Brian join us for the mid season finale? Will he join us? Signs point to yes. Yay! Signs point to yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Damon. I'm Mike. Mike. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll see oh, you guys Lord. then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>